very good evening to you. Thank you so much for sticking to Y254 TV. I hope you're having a lovely evening today and I hope your day has been absolutely good. My name is Cheryl Blessing and you are watching The Power Talk Show. Now, first of all, before we get into the conversation, I'd like to send my uh, thoughts to the families of people who are probably flooded in, people who've really experienced the tragedy of this rainy season. I hope you and your family are safe, and if you're not, I hope that you can get help or you can get some shelter to get you through this season. Now, that being said, I want us to get into today's conversation, which is not something new. We've had this conversation before, but we want to expand our territory. We want to go deeper and understand more about this topic. So our focus is on parenting. So many people in today's society are parents, and you've obviously also experienced parenting of your own. So we want to really understand how has the times changed parenting? How has parenting evolved through the generations because of the impact of the society and the economy? What can we learn about parenting as it is transforming so joining me live on set are wonderful ladies who will give us so much gems. I'm so looking forward to this conversation. They're not guests here. They've been here before. So let us welcome, first we have Catherine, who is a teens and youth mentor. Karibu tena, Catherine. Thank you. It's such a pleasure having you back nice here again. Nice to be back. Yeah, yes. always. When talking about parenting, I feel nice. Yeah, <laughs> we can tell. Can you see the way she's <laughs> smiling? <laughs> we love that. Thank you. And Right next to Catherine, we have Scarlett Sakwa, who is a colon hydrotherapist and an actress as well. Karibu. Asante sana. Yeah. I'm happy to be back again yeah. to talk about this thing, parenthood. Yeah. It's such a wider topic that even if we start now, we are not going to finish. We will never exhaust yes. this conversation. Yes. And that being said, I hope you're also looking forward to this interesting conversation. We want to try and understand how has parenting changed over time? And what can we learn from parenting that was there before? What can we apply as we get into this stage if you're interested in being a parent? And if you're actively parenting right now, what can you learn from what has been there before and what is happening presently. So I want to hear from you as well. Go on our social media platforms and let me know about your experience as a parent. What would you, di what would you do different from what your parents did? And what do you think is something that you'd like to apply in case you want to be a parent? What is the one thing you want to do as a parent? So let us have this conversation. Go on our social media platforms at Y254. That is across all socials on X, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We have this, this uh, discussion and I want us to engage. We will sample your comments as we progress with the show. Now, I think we've, we've done uh, a few conversations on parenting. We have talked about the parenting styles. We have talked about what to do, what not to do. But today is a bit different. I want us to compare parenting styles that were there before, what we have now, and what we'll possibly have in future. So maybe let me kick start by asking, why do you think parenting is important? Scarlett, perhaps I can start with you. Why do you think parenting is such an important conversation to have? Thank you, Cheryl. Parenting is a very important topic and even something to share with others. Especially, you know, children who are born. Well, let us start with a family. When you have a child, you start parenting that child when still very young. And parenting is taking care of those children, that child that you have. And it's not only you as a parent. We might have absentee parents, maybe through death, maybe you know about divorces, things happen when people are together. Then you have a guardian taking over, that one is also parenting. But how are you going to do this thing? How are you going to show our children the right channel, the right way from the day they're born to the day they become grown-ups? Mm. So that is what we're going to talk about it. Yeah, it's important because you mold a human being, essentially, from the time they were infants, from the time you hold this baby, you mold them into a human being, a functional adult in society. So parenting is very, very important. And now that being said, people like to say, parenting is about providing. Ni school fees, chakula, nyumba. Yo ingine, maybe afunzo na walimu, all those things, the pastor in church, and all that. Catherine, do you yes, think yes. parenting is just essentially providing for your children the basic needs? No, it's not just the basic things. 
actually what every parent need to do is be hot, real, and raw. Yes. And that's one thing people don't talk about. And <laughs> hot is an acronym mm -hmm. where we have to be very honest with our children. We are parenting at a very challenging time where even our children are challenging how we parent them. They look at you with an attitude and they're like, Mommy, what do you know? So we have also be very open with them. Yeah. Every time I come here with regret, I say the youngest child to be defiled was two days, three days. Mm -hmm. So we cannot parent the way we were parented. However, we cannot compromise on manners and discipline. T, we have to be very truthful. I said hot, raw, and real. real. We have to be so real. Like now we know the other day, you people told us that HIV and AIDS, there's a surge of HIV and AIDS and STDs. Let not us assume as parents that our children are not sexually active. They are very sexually active and they even think that, uh, they think that sex is one of their play games. Yeah. Children have a full-time job called play. But if we don't check on their back, if we don't keep their back, that F U double L becomes F double O L. So we must make sure that as a parent, please, we have to use something that God has given us generously, the power to observe. Yeah. You have to look at your child and get to know what is not happening and where they are inclining more to. Speaking about parenting during the April holiday, we know very soon they are going back to school. I want to ask, what has your child been doing? Where are they now? And what have you done with your child now that they came home? Because we imagine that our teachers are going to grow our children. Yeah. Anybody that has gone to give birth, they shed blood. Blood represents life. Anything that is life is not grown. It is parented. Yeah. We cannot compromise on parenting. I like that. Mm. We have to be hot, real, and raw yes. as parents. Yes. yes. And I said that's something that people don't want to talk about, especially in the African society. People are being more open to it. Now let's go back in time. Before to fix the the modern times, mm -hmm. I know you've experienced parenting through different stages. Your own experience, you were parented by your mothers and your fathers yes. and the society, and you also saw your grandparents parenting your family. Let us start from the grandparents, in case you were there. Scarlett, what was your experience as a kid seeing your grandparent parenting your father or your mother? Oh, thank you very much, Cheryl. I really miss those great old good days. Let me call them like that. You know, those days were days when everybody belonged to everyone. My grandmother or my grandfather, whom I saw those days, they were very good people. People who were molding our parents to be what they are today. Me, I never knew. You know, when you are a child, you just see maybe a father being told something by your grandparent. You wonder, I know how come that my father is being told this and he's quiet there. It was a listening group, a listening society. A grandmother could even slap your father when you are there if you made a mistake. Yes. Mm -hmm. And nobody could ask or question. Nowadays, try to do that, you wonder. <laughs> My grandfather was there to make sure that these children, have you done what they're supposed to do? You know? Yeah. They were there to guide and counsel our parents. And we are always there with our grandparents. I really enjoyed their old stories. In the evenings, you know, it brought people together. They used to tell our parents when it's eating, we go, we used to go to one place with our parents we eat if it's a grandmother's place, we eat from a grandmother's place. Then stories could come up. That is where you could see men talk to our grandparents, they're talking to these elder men, telling them how they should talk to their children as they grow up because they were handing over the mandal. Mm. They have already handed, I'm going and I'll hand over this mandal to you and let not these children walk out of the straight line they're supposed to be walking to. So we could do things together we could play together. There was no boy or no girl during that time. I'm wondering nowadays how the situation is. <laughs> a child of 12 years old eh, cannot play with somebody who's eight years old. Mm. I'm wondering, the, because they know too much. 
that time there was not too much. Mm. It was learning. Okay, our grandparents, not all of them went to school. Because schools just came the other day when they are, some of them were a bit older. So starting from our fathers and mothers, that generation, most of them went to school. And also they took us to school. So their parenthood was so good. You are a daughter, you are a child, you are a son of everybody, of each and every person. I meet your father on the way, I make a mistake, he deals with me there and then. <laughs> Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> there was no jokes. At a wall, you quite can No. That parent will straighten you, take you back to order. Mm -hmm. And if you joke, he takes your hand, takes your parent, and he beats you before the parents. And the parents will add. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. there's no lunatic parent who will just come across a child and start beating that child. Yeah. These things we see nowadays, girls walking all over, or boys just, this boy child doing funny things, impregnating people, they are not there. Yeah. Me, I came to hear about young people being impregnated when I'm old enough. I'm wondering <laughs> what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Even the stories of, okay, you know, our aunties, like us girls, we were taught by our grandmothers and our aunties mostly, especially when a girl reaches that age of teenage, you know, there are things like periods. Yeah. You know, nowadays you need to talk things the way they are. Yeah. Yeah? You know, these young men here, how are you physically? Uh -huh. You keep quiet, they finish your daughter. <laughs> As you are being told the truth, when you reach this stage, this is what you are going to do. Mm. You'll do A, B, C, D. Go to your mama, go to your auntie. You know, girls, you are very free with your aunties. Yeah. So we go tell our aunties what is happening to us, the changes you are seeing. You know, the changes come at teenage stage. You start wondering, so you are told you are growing now. Mm. So start avoiding this. Start doing this, start behaving like this. Yeah. And we used to listen. We were a listening group. Mm. But nowadays, you tell a child, mm. you are not my mother, Utadu. That Utadu. is the language of today. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I like what you've said. These days, you can't, even teachers in school, you can't punish a child. You can't even pinch a child. They will take you to prison. <laughs> you will be prosecuted <laughs> because you're trying to discipline someone. So the times really have changed. Back then, people were a bit more open. You could go to one home as the children of the community, and all of you will respect the authority in that home because you know this is an adult. I, you take them as the parent. Now, Catherine, yes, what was the one thing that you took from your grandparents parenting your your parents thank you mm -hmm. uh, actually i've just shared a photo on my page that was taken 1974 wow. mm. and i'm in that photo wow. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i my my grandmother there and my grandfather they are all late they taught us the fear of god yeah i remember my paternal grandfather praying and saying oh god of jacob and if you could not go to church, you would not agree with my grandfather. Yeah. And that worked very well on my father. He says now, he's, he says that he's a retired leader, but not tired. Mm. So they taught us the word of God, which has helped me also as I grew up my children. And for we parents, if you don't have the word of God as your parenting, unapatia watoto wako tu maneno. Kama hauna neno, ukona maneno. And I know she has talked about girls then that were not getting pregnant. Your area was better than mine. A cousin of mine then, when you see I have a photo done in 1974, mm. so you can guess my age, g g gave birth when I was in class three and we were all beaten. <laughs> and I did not even know what is to give birth. As she was saying, we, 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 uh, we won a community. Mm. Yeah. And if you disobeyed, we had a song that all of us used to sing. That when you disobey, utaenda kwa shetani, utakuwa unakisha moto, unatafuta kuni, unabeba na mgogo yako, inatoka damu. She has said that that generation used to, was a listening generation. These children that we are parenting, they are asking questions. And that is why I said parents, you cannot avoid being hot raw and real, then ask question. What until if you don't answer those questions because they have Mr. Gugu. And mm. Mr. Gugu is a very good parent who is available, convenient. And because now we have come to the city of Nairobi, we have the money, we can buy all the gadgets for our children. And then when we leave them at home, that, that slot of an auntie that we looked up to then is filled by 
what the peers are saying. Yeah. And there's a lot of peer pressure, including one peer pressure they tell each other, Mava Junifara. Mm. Our times, we knew the worst crime that you could do was go and steal fruits. And if you're caught having stolen the fruits, you will eat all those fruits, then you will be caned, and you will never steal again. Mm -hmm. But now we know they are also very mischievous. But again, as I said earlier, we cannot parent the way we were parented. But we cannot compromise, compromise on manners and discipline. Mm -hmm. We have to be the talking parent. There are so many tough talks, so many, that we must talk to our children about. When you hear them having, when we hear those feces coming in, we have to be able to talk to protect not only the girl child. Because we know even the boy child is, is being nature. sodomized. Yeah. She said we used to go to a community place. Nowadays, sleepovers parents have become very demonic. Yeah. Sleepovers have become the recruiting ground of LGBTQ. Yeah. Sodomy yeah. and uh, virginity is getting broken by cousins. Where they are telling each other that they have relationship with benefits. Even cousins are doing casual sex. So parents, even as we compare how we were parented. I remember my neighbor, she was called Shiro. The mother used to tell her every day, Shiro, you keep talking to men. I'll be removing you in the morning and air you like coffee and drag you in the evening. The message was that she's going to get HIV and AIDS. Mm -hmm. Now we cannot parent through proverbs. The only proverb that we can parent through is the word of God. Yeah. The word of God, by the way, says that children naturally do silly, careless things, but a good spanking. So if we have to parent the best way we have to do, by the word of God. Mm, yes. I like that. Nothing you may say, my come on and no una maneno. Because if you're not being led by a higher authority, mm -hmm. because realistically I've had this and it resonates with me now. Mm -hmm. Even parents are parenting for the first time. I know. You're experiencing life for the first time. Mm. So if you do not know or if you're not being guided by a higher authority, mm -hmm. you can be easily misled. That's you true. can easily mislead your children mm -hmm. and that will affect them. Because as we've said, you're bringing up an adult. Mm -hmm. This is a human being that mm -hmm. you're molding to be a functional member of society. Yes. And we've talked about listening. Mm -hmm. We've talked about discipline. Let me start from there. Because this day's discipline is not the way it used to be. Even from my time, it's not the same. Back home, in school, anywhere, it's very different. What was the value of the discipline that you had when you were kids? What has that discipline impacted you with, Scarlett? Oh, thank you. And I won't stop saying thank you because this topic we really talked about. We need to talk about it. Yeah. When I talk about discipline, my sister here will tell you, will attest to it. We used to respect teachers. You know, there's so called <laughs> a teacher. Mm. You could not meet with a teacher like this. Mm. When you see a teacher coming, you branch. You know, we had that high respect for them. And through that, we were taught listening, doing the right thing, being at the right place at the right time, doing what is right will always take you somewhere. When you make a mistake, you say, I'm sorry. When you are gifted, say thank you. You are always there to say, forgive me when you've done a wrong thing. Nowadays, you don't have those things. Yeah. It was so easy for us to live with people in the community because of those three words. Discipline. It was there. I'm not saying today people are not disciplined because parenthood is different. Those people like me, like her, I know our children have something to do with us because it came from our parents. But as the children goes by, things are changing because of the technology. Yeah. But we are not saying that not everybody is not disciplined. But believe you me, people back then really respected one another really wanted to know what is happening. Everybody I've told was a parent to one another. Yeah. We could not just hang around anyhow. You meet a, these young people just hanging around. Ask them, Ninini, Takwambiala, Tadu. Such things. Mm. Eh? You try to call. The other day, a mother was told, Aya, you know your daughter who's in class eight is doing one, two, three things. 
You know, she told that parent, you know, I a mother being told by an elderly lady, I've met your daughter doing one, two, three things, and she's in class eight. I watch and let us carry. Wow. Mm. Oh my God. That is the wrong language as parents use. Yeah. You know, discipline begins with parents. Mm. You know, if we don't discipline ourselves, our father comes at home drunkard, ama anaunge the way he wants, quarreling. He doesn't have discipline to the wife. You know, children always imitate parents. You know, your parents, you see this one here tells you, today you are going to read this verse before we sleep. Children always know at our home we have order. There is a Bible reading time. Somebody will talk, talk about it. Then we'll follow this. Then tomorrow, somebody should go for firewood. Another one should go to fetch water. One, two, three will go to wash dishes. We had that discipline, organized things. Things were running in order. But parents also we should blame ourselves. Some parents are not disciplined. Parents can throw harsh words to one another. Oh, nilikupata tu kamata wewe huna kitu. You know, it makes these young people start imagining, will I go with daddy or will I go with mom? Mm -hmm. You see my sister? Mm -hmm. Then that way we fail. Mm -hmm. Even the Bible tells us, teach a child in a way you love that child to grow up and follow that the footsteps. Yeah. Now what if you are doing this? You'll find a child goes to school being asked by the teacher, what is wrong with you? Sini daddy na mami. You know, yeah. that is not correct. We need to be disciplined before we discipline our children. Mm -hmm. Then when we discipline our children, they'll always follow the order of what is happening. They go out there in school, they'll follow what the teachers are telling them. They meet a neighbor they'll be disciplined. Even they say, good morning, good evening. Those things have gone missing. Yeah. You wake up in the morning, Unasema, how are you? Good morning. It has gone missing. <laughs> During our time, <laughs> we used to tell our neighbor, how are you? How have you been? Nowadays, you tell the neighbor, how are you? The wife will come screaming <laughs> as if you've taken his husband. <laughs> eh? You cannot say hi. You can imagine Change. such a type of, you can imagine such a type of discipline. Yeah. People are not People are not doing the correct thing, mm. you know. And the times have changed. Times I have like changed. What you said, yeah. People also emulate. Mm -hmm. If I see my parents being kind, being cautious, helping mm. people, I will do the same. You'll do the if same. If I see my parents saying hi, thank you, you're welcome, I will do the same. And one thing that was so funny, because people do not really understand the impact of what you do versus what you say. That's right. Parents are saying mm -hmm. and doing the opposite, mm -hmm. which is something that needs to be highlighted. And mm -hmm. I want us to get deeper into that as we get into the conversation. But from what you've said about discipline, comparing from the past and now, I've gotten a sense of respect for authority. There was a sense of community. We belong in one community. Right now, there is a lot of individualism. Mm -hmm. Everyone is living by themselves. Catherine, yes. what do you think? At what point do you think people, the times changed? At what stage in our life do you think kulibadilika and then things changed? Was it because of technology? Was it the commercialization? Nini ilifanya watu can lose the sense of community? Let me say that that change is not always negative. Because change, they compare it to rest. So what we need to do is encourage our children also now to realize that yes, things have changed but they don't have to go wrong because things have changed. Mm -hmm. Change is very good. That is why we can sit and talk to the whole world through whatever media we are using now. But again, we don't want to lose this child in the parenting, in the community also. Because the community has become very dirty, so I have to protect myself from my neighbor who I don't trust. Because they tell us that in defilement, 60% is done by inside our home, 30% by our neighbors, 10% by a stranger. So we don't know who is your immediate neighbor. Yeah. It's not like before. So we, we, we have become a, a caring society, but we are losing it altogether. What we need to do is be able to harmonize that, yes, we are civiliz civilization has come, but let us not lose ourselves into it. Mukosa mira anakuwa mtuma. Mutumwa. So that we can be able to grow these children knowing, yes, I belong to this family, but I'm also a community in myself because our children 
earn our future. And for you parents to be able to do that, you have to be begin it with the siblings. When children were out of COVID, because, out of school because of COVID, sorry, there was a lot of defilement that happened in between siblings. Because, again, because we cannot trust our neighbor, we want them to watch whatever they can watch. And pornography has come in with, we, in with very enticing voices. So our children have watched and watched. However, as we become an individual family, let us not lose that we are Africans, that we are Kenyans, that we belong, we, we belong to that tribe and we have a church as a community. Again, we want to, to prevent, to protect our children from abuse. Because you also know people of good color in church that have defiled our children. So what you need to do is make sure that uh, you have friends that have the same values as you. Yeah. We have three kind of support system. We have people, we have time, and we have money. Unfortunately, now we want to look at the money and forget the two. Yeah. Not also now forgetting that in Nairobi where we live, we also have the, the slums. So we don't want our children to go and hear what the neighbors are doing. Unfortunately, these children go to the same school. So when they go to the same school, children see and children learn. They will communicate. So what we need to do as parents, we want to parent as an individual and as a community, I call it 40s. Touch, tell, teach, train. Train is coming from the train itself. If the, if the, 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 the head of the train gets drilled, even the cabins will not get to the destination. Mm -hmm. So we have to train by an example. We have to teach from what we hear. What you hear, what you see, should make a lesson that you're going to tell your children. Mm -hmm. It is very sad that uh, defilement is on the increase. But parents, have you told your girl, have you told your child what you have heard on TV today? Yeah. Touch is very important. Mm -hmm. When we touch each other and we have a nice contact with our child, we get connected. So we must make sure that even as we want to parent as an individual, we don't lose our children in the social business of I'm on phone and my child is telling me, mommy, mommy, but I'm on phone, I cannot have an eye contact. Let us have an eye contact. As we have that eye contact, even when we want to protect our children, we are telling them, yes, you can trust me and you can trust my friends. And trust is something that takes long to be built, but you can crush it in a day. Yes, it is true. We may have to become that individual family, but we have a, and a bigger family. And the reason we are doing that is because we want to protect our children, we want to prevent our children, and we want to prepare them for the future. But we cannot prepare them by confining them, by yeah. closing them in, because they have to go to school. What we need to empower our children, do the hot talk, be raw and be real on your child. inje mm, yes. I like that. Napenda vinyumanza na kusema, change is not bad. Because mm -hmm. so many people will focus on, unajoku mebadilika, excuse me, kubaya. There's some good in the change. Yes. Because truly, there are so many predators out there. Mm -hmm. People are going through so many mental issues and they may not know how to mm -hmm. project them the right way. So mm -hmm. they will project them negatively. Mm -hmm. And you have to also preserve your peace, protect yourself yes. and your children as well as your family. Mm -hmm. So that's very important because not all change is bad. Good. But you have to form the right community mm -hmm. you have to be present you have mm -hmm. to know who is this mm -hmm. because as you've said the statistics show even within our home yes. within the uncles fathers yes. sometimes it's even the parents the themselves mm -hmm. that defile the children mm -hmm. the siblings mm -hmm. cousins those are people who are close to us mm -hmm. you'd never imagine because mm -hmm. there was a story you shared with me about 
a woman who found the, the sibling mm -hmm. defiling the younger mm -hmm. sister. Mm -hmm. Turns out it was the sister, the mm -hmm. aunt of the boy, mm -hmm. who was defiling him from a very young age, mm -hmm. which was very shocking to know because you'd trust and say, this is my sister. Mm -hmm. You know, uni auntie ya mtuto wangu, tuko sawa. But then you don't know or you've not really, you, maybe you've even neglected the, the red flags, the things mm -hmm. that they do, the things they say. Mm -hmm. You've ignored that and you've said, this is family. Mm -hmm. This is a friend. So mm -hmm. I'm trusting them. Mm. You have to be present. You have to be real, raw, and hot. Mm. <laughs> now let me take it to our parents. Because you know, jinyi ndo wazazi wetu. Wazazi wenyu je. Were they hot, real, and raw? Hapa mlibu. Venye umetuambe ni anti walikuwa na wambia. Ungena kwa mamako umulize, mam, nikono uki jana amekuja kuniambia, aminiandikia barua, ananipenda. What will be the reception of your mother? Sheryl, you won't even finish the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Telling your mother that kuna baru and you he, you won't even finish the sentence. Our mothers were that type that they decide for you. Mm -hmm. And the decision is over. Those mothers could beat you up in Giza Pachini no Toshe. Because they are your barua. Mm -hmm. What do you know about a letter? When did you start about letters? Okay, they were right in one way or another. But the way of approach, maybe it was too harsh and too... You know, yeah. it made us to be scared even if you have a problem. You want to approach your mother, you feel like I tell mom. You know, they are not all bad. I'm not saying all were bad. But just mothers to hear boyfriend. How? To say that they were strict. They were strict. Our attack is a story. <laughs> that is why we diverted most of our things to our aunties. It was a bit easy for us to communicate with the auntie. Not that they were bad. They were doing the right thing, but... Now Uzito Kidogo, yes. they were really pushing us to the wall, <laughs> but it made us what we are today. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I look at my mama right now, laughing with grandchildren, they are just they have been walking outside, just strolling. I ask my mom, are you sure you are the same person? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, different. no, are you sure you are the same person? Mm -hmm. You know, right now I could have gotten slapped left, right and re all over my body. But anyway, times have changed. Yeah. They don't have that energy. You cannot do what they did to us those days because there are good things that are happening and bad things that also have come with these changes. Yeah. Okay, I like the way she's put, she has put it that, you know, things like sodomy and maybe child rape, mm -hmm. most of it happened within the mm -hmm. family. Yeah. Do you know the mistake people do? You find a father has raped a daughter. And then a mother, because now neighbors are saying, we go to court, we say these things, they want this thing to be finished down there. Mm -hmm. How will this child feel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Because what now there is an, an, he's, he's, he's already looking for another person. Mm -hmm. Now this one is, so, yeah, you see, we are... I, do, let me hold that thought. Because I like that. You mm -hmm. are a feature, man. Mm -hmm. What you hold here, Hapo? I want us to take a very short break and come back. That has, it's been a very interesting uh, introduction to this conversation. Mm -hmm. Najwa Iseke, please, Kama, you're going to leave this, this station. I don't know. You're going to miss out on the very best bits of this conversation. So let's take a very short break and come back. Thank you for sticking to Y254. This is the Power Talk Show.